Hello everybody, so today we are going to make a mixed media sea landscape, okay? So mixed media is where we use lots of different materials in one piece of artwork and today we are going to be reusing some household items that you hopefully have. So, um, old bottle tops and here I've got some old wrappers from like um, crisps and chips. Um, but have a look around your house, see what else you can find for this piece of artwork. What we are going to start off with is a blue background, which is going to represent the ocean. But if you don't have any blue paper, you can use some white paper. You could even paint some paper blue. Um, have a look around your house, see what you've got. We are going to start off by cutting out some triangle shapes for the tails of the fish. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut some triangles out from a different colored paper. You don't have to use yellow. And if I wanted to, I can shape the triangles as well, okay? What I'm going to do is position these different triangles around the page, okay? And then I'm going to pick what bottles I want to represent the fish. And then, so I've got some fish swimming in this direction and some fish swimming in this direction. So I am now going to start off by gluing. You can use Pritt stick, you can use PVA or craft glue, gluing the tails down. And then after I've done that, I'm going to put some glue around the edge of the bottle top, and then I'm going to secure that down as well, overlapping it with the tail. And then I want you to let those dry before you decorate them. Okay, so once the work's dry, I want you to get some wrappers or anything that you can find in your house and we are going to cut this up so it represents seaweed or coral or shells, okay? So I'm gonna cut this up into strips and I'm just going to randomly place it around the artwork. Some shapes I don't need to cut out because they already look nice. Okay, so once I've positioned these where I want them to be, I am then again going to glue I'm now going to finish using permanent marker pens to add details onto the fish. So if you wanted, you can stick googly eyes on there if you have any. If you don't, then you can carefully draw some details onto the fish. And I'm going to use um, different colors. And if you wanted to, you could also add some details to the tails too, or patterns.
And then finally guys, if you've got some white paint, maybe you want to create some bubbles on the work, um, I'm going to just use um, a marker pen to draw bubbles. I've gone from small to big, okay? Drawing it around the mouth area of each fish. And then finally, if you wanted to add any other details in the background, maybe you wanted some green seaweed, then you can add those in there as well. Maybe think about what else you imagine to be in the bottom of the ocean. So guys, now I want you to think about what you think went well about your work and what you think you could improve. I also want you to remember to send me photographs on Class Dojo or through my email. And I'm hopefully going to be posting lots of these on the school story. So, have fun creating your mixed media seascape. Try and recycle and reuse any old um, materials or objects you can find in your home. And I look forward to seeing all of your work.